what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We got Jamie Slays teaching turnstile blackout. Also, love for you guys to check out Jamie Slays channel in the description below. Also, you can get deeper into some of these tunes, learning the solos, etc. So check that out. All right, let's dig in. Hey everyone, it's Jamie from the Jamie Slayers YouTube channel and I'm back again on Marty Schwartz's YouTube channel to show you another heavy metal riff lesson. Today, we've got the song Blackout by Turnstile. Now, it's not really heavy metal, but it's heavy and it's sort of metal. This song is in D standard, so I'm using the trusty Epiphone V that Gibson sent me a while back with Fishman, so it sounds amazing. I think I've got 10 to 52 or 11 to 52 strings on this one. If you want some string recommendations, Ernie Ball 11 to 52 or maybe 11 to 56 or 12 to 56, depends on how thick you like it. This song is pretty much chords, power, power chords, bar chords, kind of chords, gripped chords, all that kind of stuff. There's some cool breakdowns and some chugs. It took me a while to kind of get my head around it, but you'll see in the lesson I break it down enough for all of us to understand. Enjoy the lesson and I'll see you at the end where I'll talk about it maybe a bit some more. Here is the intro riff played slowly. <laughs> So this song comprises of pretty much power chords, bar chords, all that kind of stuff, all the way through. There's a lot of kind of grip and make sure your thumb and your fingers are all in the right place. I'm gonna break it down slowly and then kind of go through the song structure as we go along. So the first chord we start off with is a power chord on the eighth, eighth fret on the E string, which is actually the D string. This whole song is in D standard, like I said at the beginning. So we go forward like so. <laughs> So then we go up to the nine and 11. So we're doing the actual triad chord, which is the three notes per chord. Not just a standard power chord. We're actually doing the three as well. That makes it slightly harder because some guitars are smaller, so it's harder to fit it in, but it goes like so. So that's eight and nine. Then we go down to six, back to eight and nine. So like this. Then we go back to the six. Then this is where it gets a bit tricky. We go up to the 11th fret. So that is 11, 11, 13. And then we go down onto the uh, second string on the 13th fret as well. So you may have to look at a tab or look at the notes written down because this is how it's played. So what I do is I put my index finger barring the 11th fret and I put my pinky finger on the 13 on the third string down, so the D. And then when I go down to the next string, I do it like this with my ring finger. It's hard to show you in a video. So you're getting this kind of thing. But with the 13th fret on the uh, D string as well. Because if you did this, it would be a bit more difficult. Or you could do it with your middle finger. If you're a fan of Megadeth, it's kind of similar to like crab thing that uh, Dave Mustaine does. But not as difficult as that. So now let's go into the technically the verse part, which is basically exactly the same as the intro. Here it is at full speed. Here it is slower and broken down. So 
So the one thing I noticed differently to the tab as it is in the actual song, it's very, very subtle, but I'm pretty sure the second time around he plays or they play. <laughs> You can't really hear it very well because it's kind of muffled. So it's kind of play it with feel. You don't necessarily have to play it exactly right, but I'm pretty sure the first one is. And then. I think it then goes like that. So again, listen to the song and play along with it to get it down properly. Then we have the next section played at full speed. So that's just a small bridge section, but it goes like so. If you have a floating bridge guitar, you can kind of do a dive bomb section, but in the song, they just kind of um, pitch the whole song down as it goes boo. So it does sound like a that kind of thing. So again, it's six up to the nine. Then we do the eight and 10. Then we kind of do the intro all over again. So if you've forgotten it already, go back to that previous section, but it's the. Then after that, we go into the chorus. So before the chorus, we have that previous section again, where it goes. Then we have. So now we have the chorus section. This section is actually broken up into two different guitars. So I will play each one after another. Here is the chorus at full speed. Here is the first guitar coming out of the riff like so. That's the first guitar. I'll just break that down slowly and then I'll do the second one. We have the chords of eight and 10 up to 11, 13. Then we lift off that ring finger. Then we go down to the ninth fret. Final section is. Nine and 11 power chord. And then kind of a mute choked off open note. So the second guitar on the tab I look at plays something slightly differently, but I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same because 15, 15, 17 is the same as eight, 10, 10. So I'm going to ignore that second guitar for now and just play it the same way they both play it. Then the song goes into a bass only bridge. So we won't be covering that because this is a guitar lesson and it pretty much goes back into the chorus again, starting on the. So we go back in to cover that bit again. This time, however, the end of the chorus isn't this. It goes like so. So this is the breakdown part of the song where everyone gets in the pit and starts throwing some shapes. There's two sections of the song or two separate parts. The main part goes like so. Here it is at full speed. Here 
here it is broken down slowly. So we have the eighth chord. Let me do some cool palm mutings. Then some of the tabs do this. But I think it actually goes from here. So. Then we've got that six again, coming back into the section. So that's a power chord from the 12th fret, down to the nine. Then it slides up to the 16, 16, 18. The only real difference in the second guitar is that there are stops and gaps in between it, like so. So instead of playing the whole section, you just stop in the section like this. Then you leave it for a whole bar. Leave it for a whole another bar, then you come back in and you shred and do all the fighting moves with everybody else. Then we have the outro, which is a pretty cool riff. And again, it's just a variation on the same riff. This song is actually quite a cool lesson in how to utilize the same riff or same section and make it sound different. Here is the outro riff played at full speed. Here is the outro riff played slowly. So same section as before, eighth power chord, nine power chord, palm mute on the sixth, back to the nine. Slide from the 9-11, so you play that twice, up to the 16-16-18. So that was Blackout by Turnstile, played in D standard on an Epiphone Flying V with Fishman pickups. What did you think? Could you play along with it? Was it really, really easy or actually slightly difficult? I struggled with that one. Some of it was difficult with the kind of bunched up chords in small positions, especially the 15s and the 16s, and the sliding in the right places and the weird timings of the beat down section. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the song. Do you enjoy turnstile? Do you want to see us do more riffs like this one? You know, kind of simple ones, but a little bit heavier and a bit more fun to play. Let us know in the comment section below what you want to see next. How about maybe some more Metallica? Or, what about Bad Omens? They're pretty cool, aren't they? Let's try out that band. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to Marty's channel and if you like more heavy metal stuff, then come on over and subscribe to Jamie Slays as well. Like the video if you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you guys very soon for some more heavy metal riff videos. Bye everyone. All right, thank you again, Jamie Slays, for coming on and guesting, doing the metal. Check out his channel in the description below. He's got a bunch of great stuff. And thanks for supporting Marty Music. We'll see you guys again. Take care.